Breja, the Spanish word for fence. Good morning guys. Welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. I just rode my skateboard over to our church and came to a cool surprise. Check this out. This is going to be the front of our church. If you can see this cross here, they welded the cross together so that we can put um, different stained glass and things inside of it and it's going to look really cool on the front of the church, especially on Easter morning or really any morning. But my goodness, that's going to look beautiful. Holy cow. Anyways, I'm waiting for the upload right now and I can't just sit around and do nothing while I wait for an upload. So I may as well Sorry for the late upload guys, but I realized that I didn't spell the forest fires right in Spanish. So I had to reload it all 10 minutes before I was supposed to put it out. I'm sorry guys, don't worry, I'll never do it again. I don't know, maybe it'll happen again, but I'm sorry. It's coming out soon though, about 15 minutes late. It's okay, it's really okay. Well, maybe it's not okay. So I just uploaded it again. It takes about 30 minutes or so to upload. And I'm obviously not in my home, so I come to our church every day, so it's not exactly the most comfortable, so that's why I do the workout. So I just uploaded it again, and it didn't fix anything. So now I have to upload it again and wait another half an hour. So far I'm on hour two here, waiting for this upload. Vlogger's life, vlogger's life. But it's really frustrating. Finally, we are finally set to go. Everything is ready, everything is out there. I hope there aren't any mistakes this time, and well, it's out there. Let's go. All right, you guys, so I wish that I could say that I went somewhere cool this weekend and I did something crazy awesome, or something along the lines of this afternoon I went to this place and it was absolutely amazing. But I've actually diverted from that today and spent my time responding to text messages and emails and looking up in more information about the fires that are going on here in Chile. Um, they are getting worse and worse and my text messages from friends are getting worse and worse as well. There are animals that are dying, there are people being evacuated, many, many people being evacuated. Um, there's a state of emergency um, in parts of Chile right now because of the forest fires. I looked at the weather and there doesn't seem to be an end in sight as far as rain coming. It looks sunny for the next 10 days, which is pretty typical here in Chile in the summer. Um, and uh, it's getting a little bit, it was real because I saw videos from friends who are uh, in different parts of Chile and things like that, but uh, here especially, um, if you take a look up, it's perfectly sunny, up that way. But the smoke is now coming towards us this way. So I don't know if you can see it very well in this video, but it is getting very, very, very smoky outside. And um, I know that the fires are a little ways away, not real far away, because um, a place about an hour and a half from here just got evacuated. Um, and then there are more places about an hour and a half away too. But an hour and a half straight south of here was evacuated. Um, and it's getting kind of crazy. But um, to keep it positive, those people are always in our prayers, all of my friends, the people that are watching these videos, and uh, the people that maybe don't watch this but are suffering right now, you are in our thoughts and in our prayers. Um, I do want to change the topic though and make it a little bit more positive for today so I can get out of this funk of uh, looking at bad things that are happening here in Chile um, and move it on to this.
For the next 17 days, I am going to tell you a cultural difference between the United States and Chile every single day. One new cultural difference every single day until about February 7th. I think that's 17 days. And then we go to Patagonia. But today, the cultural difference between Chile and the United States is... So the thing I want to talk about today are fences. In the United States, there are no fences to protect your house. And typically, there aren't many robberies, not too many at least. But here, I think robberies are a little bit more common. Um, but I think that fences are awesome. Fences are awesome for a few reasons, but for us, most importantly, it's for our dogs. Our dog can just stay outside all day. In the United States, they'd have to, well, stay in a little kennel, and they'd be stuck there for sometimes eight hours while we were at work. But here, they can just go running outside, they can go to the bathroom whenever they want to, and they're actually for protection for the house. In the States, they're more just for just a friend. And here they're for a friend too, but they're also, at least for us, and I think the majority of the people here, they're also for our protection. That's pretty neat. Now, I don't want to misguide you, and if you're going to the United States, or if you've lived there or visited before, you'll notice that some houses do have fences. And I would say a lot of these houses with fences are for dogs, or maybe to keep some people out or something like that, but mostly in the United States, they do not have many fences. Um, my family's houses all growing up, I never had a fence, ever. Now, there are two reasons that I wanted to talk about fences today. One is because of watching a movie the other day, and it was a movie from the United States, which most of them are, and I noticed big houses and no fences. And to me now, I feel like that's totally strange. Why would anyone need a house that big? And it looks so beautiful. But I guess that is pretty normal in the United States, houses like that that you see in the movies. They are way bigger and they don't have a fence. The other reason though is because of Pablo. Pablo, I wanna give you a shout out. You had the idea of um, what are differences, cultural differences between Chile and the United States. And how easy is that for me to explain? Thank you for the suggestion, I love it. And I'm gonna keep doing it until about February 7th. It's gonna be great. Alright, so we're headed downtown right now because we're going to try and get people to sign up for our English classes. But, Elise has a different experience with fences um, in that she lived in an island called Antigua. 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 And anyways, um, she used to have fences. I don't know. I can't talk about it. What do you think about fences, Elise? I think fences are the best invention ever. I don't know why we don't have fences like how we have it here in the states because a fence allows you to live in your yard and not be seen by all these people they're an extra sense of protection you can leave your doors your windows wide open i don't know i've always dreamed of living somewhere where i had a huge fence where i could sit in my backyard and no one could see me and that's what we have now that is what we have it's now. It's pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome. I really like the fences. I think they're really, really cool. Thanks again to Pablo. Um, thanks for giving me the idea of coming up with a bunch of different cultural differences because I know there are a lot of people from Chile who are watching or people from around the world who have been to Chile and want to know these things and what's different. So, number one, fences. Tomorrow, we've got another one. But for now, see you guys next time. Ciao! Ciao.
He translated the one from today, which is now yesterday's, already. So thank you. But my other shout out is for Lisette. I hope I'm saying that name right. I hope. But I really, really appreciate you so much.